Okay. So welcome back again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, uh, any doubt in those topics? Psychological test, interview, case study, observation, self-report. Yes, would you like to put the mnemonic for that also? Ashish, try one. Put all of there. P. I. C. O. S. And one thing I wanted to tell you last year, I don't know if I told you this, there are different types of learners. Okay, some people, did I tell you that? Yes. No. Okay, the thing is, uh, some might be able to um, just read once and then register into your mind or brain or wherever you store it. And uh, some others would like to read it. I mean, read continuously, then write it down and study. Write down the spelling, write down three to four times and learn. And uh, some others would like to see something about it. That is pictorial representations of something I learn. Uh, such learners are also there. Some would like to hear it. Suppose if I send you an audio clip, uh, as the whole chapter's audio clip. If you just hear it, you'll be able to follow that and you'll be able to learn fast. You'll be able to register that into your storage system. Then uh, there are some other people who would like to experiment on that. Mm, that is uh, get uh, application level um, experience, then learn it. I'll give you an example like um, the way you study to use a smartphone. Hmm? Suppose to change a particular setting in that, a person is giving an audio clip regarding how to change that setting. So audio learners find it very easy to do that. Others might see a YouTube video. In that, there is, uh, it is shown how to do it. So they are visual learners. Okay. Now there are some people who tries to grab the uh, smartphone and then try to do it. They are uh, more of kinesthetic learners. They want to have real life experience on it or something similar to that. Okay. So the thing is, find out what type of learner you are. There might be combinations of these two. Okay. You might be uh, for some portion, you might like audio learning. Some portion, you might like visual learning. Some, you might like kinesthetic learning. So, whichever is dominant in you, try to find out that and use such methods. Hmm? Uh, suppose, uh, for me, what works is uh, the pictorial mnemonics. Hmm? P uh, mnemonics using images. We learn about mnemonics using images, right? So for me, I like more of uh, pictorial um, mnemonics. Also, I'm a kinesthetic learner. If uh, my uh, teacher comes, dance tutor comes and teaches me the steps, I can't just see and learn. I want to practice it, then only I can learn. Okay, I want to have a real life experience on it. So depending on which type of learner you are, you try to apply the uh, learning techniques. That will help you a lot in your uh, plus two. Okay. It will make work much easier. That is why I am, uh, one thing I'm doing is I'm making you read. One thing I'm uh, doing is making you write the lecture note. Along with that, I'm using the EC board. And yesterday, remember, I drew one thing. I used the three words. Yes. That was for the visual learners because I don't know which one among you is a visual learner, kinesthetic and all that. So I'll have to do a combined form. Okay, so try to find that. Um, in different sites you have it, Google it, just Google uh, the types of learning um, 
tests are there so with that you can find out okay back to our topic so which was p is this one enough to study because that is enough you do it otherwise you make your own uh, mnemonic and learn okay it's not necessary that you learn the same with the same mnemonic you can make up a story you can uh, take up a situation and attach these keywords into it and learn or you can uh, use a method of loci anything anything that you like so p was psychological test psychological test then i was interview interview c case study case study o observation and s the new self report self report now what was iq equal to MA by C into hundred. Yeah, Ishri has told me MA by C into hundred. What about the rest? MA mm -hmm. by C into hundred. MA by C into hundred. And what was the mnemonic for our previous thing? Domains of psychological attributes. VIP AI. VIP AI. VIP had a robot with AI. Now another common. Problem that happens when you write plus two exams is plus two as well as tenth. Problem that happens is the last time I I saw one not in psychology but in another subject. They know the concept, they know what to write, they know the content, but they don't know what the heading is. Okay, so you know what uh, you know the code V I P uh, A I. Then you know what all these factors are. You know how to explain it. You know the examples also. You can write heaps of information for that. But you don't know under which topic you have to write that. Just imagine. <laughs> okay, um, for uh, not in not here, but somewhere else. One student uh, under sex determination topic in biology. <laughs> It it was based on the gamete formation, blah blah blah, all those stuff, and <laughs> the child wrote about the DNA, uh, how DNA uh, helps in determining one particular character. Just imagine, she knows that uh, what sex determination is. She knows the entire thing. She knows the DNA transmission, DNA, the effect of DNA and protein formation, all those things, but <laughs> she don't know. Under which heading she has to write this? So she got confused, and under sex determination, she wrote this answer, and that was the five marks question. Just imagine. Finished, done. So uh, the code for VIP AI we use that for domains of psychological attributes. Now, because we use for the assessment methods, if you get any such confusion about the heading, just Try to uh, recollect what one each point is. Suppose uh, in PICOS we have psychological test case study. Then you remember, yes, they were methods of inquiry we study, so they should be assessment methods. Okay. Okay. Now, one small topic. Next is intelligence. That is one small topic, but under that we have so many theories coming. But today we'll just study the introduction. um who will read ashish would you like to do the honors <clears throat> come on intelligence is a unmute Hmm. I can't hear. <laughs> Is it my problem or his problem? I can't hear you, Ashish. Bad luck. 
and mute uh, mute and try once more try to place your mic towards the mouth no check it check it somebody else mm raina read intelligence hello i can read from your lips but i can't hear you ashish mm -hmm. ma'am can i read yes 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 intelligence intelligent is a key construct employed to know and uh, how individual dif uh, different from one another hmm. it also provide understanding to how people adapt their behavior according to the environment they live in hmm. in this section you will read about the intelligence and various various forms in its various forms in its various forms hmm. psychological uh, notion of intelligence it's not psychological it is psychological for psychology we say psychology the stresses at occur and for psychological we say <laughs> psychological psychological okay biology. for biology we say biology and the other word is biological okay fine read psychology yeah so the intelligence is quite different from the common sense uh, sensical sensical common sensical which means related to common sense notion of the intelligent if you watch an intelligent person you are like to see in uh, her or him attributes like mental alertness ready which the quick and in quick in learning and ability to understand relationships mm. the Oxford dictionary exp uh, dictionary explains the intelligence as the power of perceiving learning in understanding and knowing the Under underline that so psychological notion of intelligence which means psychological conceptualization or the concept of uh, this intelligence is different from the usual concept of intelligence so again before you have uh, studied the definition of uh, intelligence in psychology uh, whom do you call as an intelligent person person who studies more and understands more concepts. person who understands the concepts more understands the concepts more okay and then when do you say oh brilliant intelligent that was very intelligent that was very brilliant of you fast quick you do something you uh, try to relate something very fast you try to find solutions very fast suppose you are a mathematics teacher write down a big problem integration and then the person solves it within seconds will you call him intelligent when i added the word will you you are doubtful <laughs> will you call him intelligent Yes or no? Come on, even if it's wrong, I'm not going to scold you. Tell me, will you call him intelligent? Ah. Okay, I'll change the question. How many of you will call him intelligent? Okay, how many of you will not call him intelligent? You all are waiting for somebody else to raise the hand, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes or no? At least for that, say yes or no. Okay, wait once more. How many of you will call the person intelligent? Hello. 
Okay then. Another question. Then what will you call that person? <laughs> She's just telling something. I can't hear you. What? Type type in the chat box. Okay. What do you, what will you what will Amal call him? The person completes the mathematical uh, problem of integration within a few seconds. The teacher just took off the chalk from the board. And then the person has finished the answer. What will you call him? <laughs> Don't tell me that I'll mind my own business. I won't call him anything. Well, ma'am, it will be according to the situation. According to this is the situation. Hello. Suppose now I'm your math teacher, a mathematics teacher. You are sitting in mathematics class, and I have uh, written something on the board. The The second I finish writing on the board, Ashish solve it completely within seconds with the correct answer. Okay, now what would you call? Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am. I see the good mood is calling me intelligent. Uh, once more. You think? Uh, if the, my second, uh, if the process is good and. In a good mood, if we get, uh, we call them intelligent. Who is in good mood? You are in good mood. Ah. Uh -huh. If you are in a good mood, you will call him intelligent. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, fine. Thank God. Then others, uh, Sana, what will you call him? <clears throat> Oxford has to invent one word to <laughs> call him. Where is your word, Ashish? I didn't get. Did you send from there? It did not reach here. Sana, I asked a very easy question. You just had to say yes or no. Then you guys did not. <laughs> Elvina, what would you call him? Brilliant. Ah, <laughs> okay, Krishna. I think I'll call him intelligent. I think I'll call him intelligent. I have to think about it. Let me call him intelligent as of now. Okay, Raina. Yes, <clears throat> yes, intelligent. Intelligent, fixed. Okay. By the time you guys uh, fix on what to call him, the mathematics teacher would have finished ten uh, or fifteen problems. After ten or fifteen problems, you are waking up and calling him intelligent, and then the teacher would be wondering, "Why are you telling this word now?" Oh, long story. Okay, so that is the common sense, right? Uh, suppose if a person understands something very fast, perceives something very fast, then what else is there? Learn something very fast, or the person knows a lot of information, then we call that person intelligent. Or rather, we have a usual common word, no? You use it in class. You might have used it in class. A person gets hundred and hundred, hundred on hundred in physics, chemistry, and mathematics. The moment you get to know this news, what would you call him, or what would you call her? Tell me. What is the Malayalam word? What is the Malayalam word that you have in mind? ഇന്റലിജന്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് Because that person perceived and understood that concept very fast. 
and the person knows so many things about it now a person who knows um all the information like how was that statue built when was it built when was it renovated when did this come up when did that come up when did gandhi ji uh, plan about the demarch blah 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 all those stuff that person might be knowing again you will consider that person as very brilliant you might not consider but a part of society you might consider that person as very intelligent isn't it that is the common sense the common sensical uh, notion or concept about intelligence but in psychology what did we learn what is intelligence it is the capacity to understand the understand world, the world think rationally think rationally and use the resources effort, uh, effectively when faced with a challenge yes now according to the common sense this person might know uh, about all kinds of vehicles how how much petrol is required how much mileage is there blah 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 and when he starts driving a car he doesn't know a thing so is that person intelligent psychologically no no because he cannot use the resources to meet his challenge according to common sense is that person intelligent again our neighborhood aunties neighborhood aunties who he knows everything if you have any doubt she would be telling her, his uh, her own uh, son if you want to know anything about vehicles go and ask him he knows everything about vehicles but the person does not know to drive so is that information useful no and that is why we have different types of intelligence which we learn so again the common sensical concept a common sensical notion about intelligence is different from psychological attribute of intelligence understood that okay now oxford definition did you underline oxford dictionary says that this is the intelligence because not all people are learning psychology so everybody has to understand intelligence in a common form that is why oxford dictionary provides such a definition we are studying psychology that is why we are considering intelligence as the whole global capacity okay it's not the single capacity mention that word global capacity now we'll see how different people came up with intelligence um megna come up i'm um, continuation continuation early intelligence theorists early intelligence theorists also used this attributes in defining intelligence hmm. alfred binet was one of the alfred first alfred binet binet alfred t uh, is usually silent alfred binet okay alfred binet this is a very important person note that just like our pavlo and our skinna which we <laughs> have kept in plus one here we have so many uh, holy people <laughs> and among them is alfred binet alfred binet don't forget the spelling if you want study as binet no problem because if you say binet uh, finally in the answer paper also binet will be there the t will be in the textbook itself i'll have to go to the textbook grab it and come back okay now continue Alfred Binet was one of the first psychologists who worked on intelligence. Hmm. He defined intelligence. Underline, as, underline that he defined intelligence as. <clears throat> he defined the intelligence as the ability to judge well, hmm. understand well, and reason well. Yeah, everything well. Judge, understand, and reason well. Very nice definition. No, easy to learn. Judge, reason, understand. Well, well, well. He defined Alfred Binet defined intelligence as. the ability to judge well understand well reason well that's it next bachelor 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 that is again another person note that person his name is david bachelor david bachelor and we have a holy test on intelligence uh, provided by him bachelor's intelligence bachelor's scale of intelligence david bachelor okay then that is which sorry to interrupt you again that is which slur that is the spelling which slur but we pronounce it as vishla okay now continue 
Weschler, whose intelligence tests are most widely used, understood intelligence in terms of its functionality, that mm. is, its values for adaptation to environment. Mm. He find it has a global and aggregate underline, capacity, underline. Global and aggregate. capacity of an individual to think rationally, act rationally, purposefully, rationally, not ration. <laughs> rationally. Act purposefully and mm. do effectively with her or his environment. Mm. Okay. How many of you have planned to take up psychology after plus two? Two of you. Okay. So for you, Ashish also. Wonderful. By the end of the year, will I have all the answers? Okay. Anyways, this uh, definition, um, again, it is a holy definition. That is the definition that in most of the interviews, whoever asks you about intelligence, you can say this, this definition. This is the one I have it in my storage system by heart, in my long-term memory. Okay, the definition by Weschler. It is the global and aggregate capacity of an individual. Three things again, to think rationally, to act purposefully, and deal effectively with his or her environment. Okay, read that once more. It is the global and aggregate capacity of an individual to think rationally, that I already told you in the general definition. Then, act purposefully. <clears throat> act purposefully means act with a purpose. Then, deal effectively with his or her environment. That is same as meeting with challenges. But these, you have to say, uh, I mean, this is the definition quoted by Weschler. So, you can't change any words in that. Also, the other one also, the one by Alfred Binet, that also you can't change. You have to study it by heart. Understand it and learn.